focal point is a concept in game theory, which is a sort of coordination of our beliefs that takes place automatically. Through the fact of us being human beings, we have some shared beliefs and they give rise to coordinations in behavior. This was due to the work of Thomas Schelling, uh, who did work in early game theory. And it's this idea of the focal point which acquires a certain salience in my book where the law in the end is powerful because what an ordinary citizens believe about one another. Hence the title of the book, The Republic of Beliefs. The power of individuals going about their daily chores all put together amount to a huge power which resides in nothing but the individuals going about their daily work. A problem that plagues the law is that the law is time and again violated. It's wonderful laws written down on paper, but people collectively look the other way. And somehow the way we do law and economics, we do not address why this happens so rampantly. My book is an attempt to answer that. And so it gives you the wherewithal of better implementation of the law. When you write down the law, how will it be implemented better? That is the heart of what you're after. But the book is supposed to be a start for that. It's giving you the founding tools of analysis for that. It's telling you how you can use modern game theory to be able to address this problem. And I have little examples of improving implementation, but that is the agenda that the book sets up. I got very involved in uh, corruption control in India, and it struck me that one reason why bribery is so rampant is in India, according to the Indian law, a 1988 Prevention of Corruption Act, if you give a bribe and if you take a bribe, both are equally guilty. At one level that looks innocuous and maybe even right, but that had a huge problem. Every time a bribery takes place, after that, the giver and the taker collude to hide the information because both will go to jail. So I argued in a short note that you have to break this collusion by making the bribe giver not guilty and the bribe taker guilty. Once you do that, they will not collude because their interests are divergent. I wrote it up as a short paper and it caused an absolute furor because this is such a sensitive topic, bribery and corruption. But the furor again meant that I, it came back to me as an intellectual problem that yes, at one level I needed to attend to it as a policymaker then, there and then, but there was something deeper that I wanted to analyze and write. And these were the problems that were piling up with me and I waited till I came back to academe to write them up. Thank you.